guys and welcome back for another video for those of you who are popping by my channel for the first time today to see this instant pot video welcome my name is Michelle I am a mom of three beautiful boys an eight-year-old a very soon to be seven-year-old and an eight-month-old little boy so I'm fairly new here on YouTube I've been active here for about ten months but uh, a lot more active in the past couple or several months I'm absolutely enjoying this journey so far and sharing with you guys a little bit about my life and about my family. So I do encourage you guys to check out my videos. If you do like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and join in on my family's journey and just uh, get to see what we're all about. Anyways, uh, today I'm going to show you guys how I sterilize my bottles and breast pump and all of my baby accessories in the Instant Pot. In the very beginning of my channel, I showed you guys how I was doing it, just using the old standard uh, pot of boiling water. You wait till it comes to a boil, insert all your things in there, wait 10 minutes. Now, while that is very effective, I just didn't find like the steam as, as effective as this. You can always go out and get a specific steamer for your bottles, but I like to be a little bit more frugal in my life and in my family's life and not have a lot of waste. So we do use the Instant Pot almost daily for meals. So I thought I would just give it a try and sterilize everything in here. Now Medela and um, Instant Pot have not given any guidelines on this, not that I have seen. So these are typically what I would do, but it's not what has been recommended uh, for sanitation from the manufacturers. Without further ado, I'm just going to show you in under three minutes how I sterilize everything and have everything ready to go. All right, so before I start sanitizing, I always wash my bottles and accessories. I always use this Aliva Naturals bottle and dish liquid. It's pure, it's natural, and it's vegan, and I really like this one. And I just use the brush and let them soak as well. Once that is done, I will rinse them off and just let them sit in this basket until I'm done rinsing them all off. As you can see, I just do all of my glass bottles, my all of my Medela accessories, my silicone nipples, all of the covers, and absolutely everything goes in at the same time. As you can see, I am just using the metal trivet that comes with the Instant Pot, but if you don't have this brand and you don't have a trivet like this, you can always use my stainless steel vegetable steamer or anything of that sort. I have seen people get all kinds of different things, so definitely look that up. I am also adding one cup of water uh, for the bottom. That just helps with the steaming process. You absolutely need this. I decided to place all my glass bottles on the bottom and then my silicone and some thinner plastic pieces on the top just in case one would fall through. And then you always want to make sure that you don't go past the full max line. Once the Instant Pot is locked, you're going to want to put it on the ceiling setting to keep all of that steam inside. So now I'm just going to switch it on to the steam function and I'm going to put it on for two minutes. Now two minutes has worked for me. I'm not 100% sure what everybody else is doing, but that has been working for me. Now that the time is up, I'm going to let it naturally pressure release. I'm going to do it for three minutes. A lot of people do it for less. You could do it for more. It just means to let the Instant Pot go for an additional three minutes. Once that is done, you can flick the valve and let all of the rest of the pressure come out. This is very important to do before you open the Instant Pot. You will know when all the pressure is out when this little valve thingy drops. There you have it, it's done, and that's how I sanitize all of my bottles. It's time to let it cool down and then take them out, put them on the drying rack. there you have it that's how I sterilize and sanitize my breast pump all of my accessories as well as all of my baby bottles and sippy cups if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up do whatever works for you I do super encourage that you do your own research and have a lot of knowledge because this is not something to kid around with when you're dealing with your baby and your baby's health so thank you so much for watching and if you're new I would love it if you would subscribe